I'll be spending the next 48 hours on one of the world's most expensive sleeper trains and it costs over This train journey honestly looks incredible and I'm gonna go check it out to see if the accommodation, experience and service is all worth the price. Trust me, it was not cheap. Now off to Peru. Welcome to Orlando, first flight finish. Oh my god, I've made it to Peru. That was the longest journey ever. 24 hours of traveling, I'm almost there. Gracias. Hola. We've made it to Arequipa. We're in the town where I will be leaving on the train. About five hours until the train. Just having some food whilst I wait for the train. Gracias. One hour until the train. I've just arrived at the train station. I really do not know what to expect. They've just taken my luggage on board, so I guess now we just need to wait. More food while we wait for the train. More food on the train. As you can see, the train is right behind me. I can't believe I'm actually about to do this. Never spent this much money on a video before, so please subscribe. See, as a celebrity, red carpet for you. Wow. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome on board. Cheers. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hi. It's literally like a five star hotel. Room number one. I'm now in my room, my own private room on a train. We actually have dinner in 10 minutes, so I'm literally dressed up to go to dinner by myself. There's literally a massage bed right behind me where you can get massages whenever you want. Obviously complimentary considering how much money we're paying. Now having dinner by myself, the vibes are great. Tallini to start, that is so good. <laughs> Wine glass is still alive. Now for the main course which is sea bass, one of my favorite dishes. Fantastic. I'm ready to sleep. I'm very jet lagged. I've also drunk quite a bit, feeling slightly sick, which I've just realized is because of the altitude. I'm even finding myself out of breath talking right now. Good morning. I did not sleep well last night at all. I think it might have been because of the altitude and the alcohol. Breakfast was good. I just had some eggs and toast and some bacon and sausage. now visiting the Inca people of the Ura Islands, which are floating islands. Oh, hey, this is Nick 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 Nick. Fully dripped out. It's actually kind of cool. Wow. I love the colors. This TV is actually oh, yeah. crazy. And to think there is water below this house as well. I kind of feel it moving a little bit. And now for lunch, finally. This is the piano car. And of course, down here you have the bar. I'm pretty sure it's open 24 hours as well. I've just ordered myself an iced latte because I'm so tired. Thank you. Looks fancy. It tastes good. Wow. I don't know how they've managed to make mushroom soup taste so good. Just finished lunch. It was so good. I'm about to take a nap, but first, I want to show you guys around my little room. The room is currently in the day configuration, which means it's set out as a sofa. This pulls down. There is my mattress. That is also another bunk bed, which comes down so you can sleep two people in here. Just like that, it is a sofa. Okay. For now. <laughs> close the shop. I'm gonna have a bit of a lie down and catch up on some Love Island. Luckily I have NordVPN so I can still watch Love Island. Have you ever wondered how you can save money booking flights online or potentially getting streaming sites for only a fraction of the monthly price? Then you should probably consider getting something called NordVPN which is a virtual private network. It basically keeps you safe when you're online. Say you're on a public Wi-Fi, all your data is not secure and someone could intercept that and steal your credit card information or your password. It can also unlock blocked content on your Wi-Fi. You can change your location to any other location in the world. What that means is you can access the US Netflix whilst you're in the UK or vice versa. And my favorite features about using a VPN, especially NordVPN, you can change your location to different countries and then get streaming sites at a lower monthly price. This also works with booking flights too. If you book a flight from a different country, it can work out a lot cheaper. If you want to do any of those mentioned things, you need to get a VPN, especially NordVPN. NordVPN.com slash Ben Morris will save you money or use the link down 
down below, it's much easier. And don't worry, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can get all your money back. Let's get right back into the video. I have hung up some of my clothes, I have the pillows, more little hand towels, water, bathroom. This, as you can see, is the bathroom. There is me, you have a full length mirror, sink, and you've got your light switches right here. And the star of the show, my own shower. It's actually kind of spacious in here, you know? <laughs> However, there are two different room types which you can book for this train. One is a twin room which has two single beds along the side of the cabin. And then you have the suite which I believe has a whole king bed in there. I've been told that I'll be able to go look around a suite. So we're now on the move again. We are literally just going through the center of the town. You can just see down the street how long the train really is. Here is just some local young people playing sports. The views right now are just absolutely incredible. This is insane. Well, that definitely has to be the highlight of the trip so far. I am honestly speechless. starters for dinner is a cappuccino with cream cheese. It's really good actually. Insane. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. I've not had service all night. And I'm back on my favorite part of the train, just taking in the views for one last time. Can and talk to you at the sea. Now I'm now knocking on room that you can book on the train it's extremely expensive i wish i was staying in this room but i honestly just did not want to spend the money so as you come into the suite you have your own little seating area then of course you have the bathroom which is basically the same as both of the other rooms and of course the selling point of this room you have your own massive double bed the fact that this is a room on a train is just insane i keep forgetting that i'm actually on a train i will not miss spending this much money on a train i can reveal to you guys the price for my bunk bed for two nights cost me three thousand five hundred dollars which is obviously so much money but the experience you get on the train the service the food and also the sweet room cost four thousand six hundred dollars i will see you all very soon with another adventure goodbye